Hi, this is Meghnath. In this video, we're going to learn how to swap data of two variables without using a third variable, right? In the previous example of example 18, we have learned how to swap data of two variables using third variable t. Now in this example, we are going to see without using third variable t. And as usual, you can use any editor of your choice. I'm going to type the code in Visual Studio Community Edition, right? So I have already written the code and let me open that and explain you to understand it. Now, so here you can see that to swap data of two variables without using temporary variable. So I declared first two variables A and B. So you can see here A I assigned five, B as assigned eight. And before swapping logic, I'm just printing them A equal to person D and B equal to person D. I'm printing here A and B values. Now, the actual logic for swapping two variables here is this. Now I will uh, zoom this little bit and I'll try to explain you very clearly. Now you can see here, first the value of A here is A is equal to, you can see here initially I assigned this value B is equal to eight. So before executing these three steps, the values of A and B are A equal to five and B equal to eight. Now let's see this. So a equal to a plus b, first we are taking both the values into a. So a value will be, you can see here, after this line, a value will be 13. Now, now after this line, a value is no more five. So a value now is changed to 13 after this line gets executed. And now we are writing b is equal to a minus b. Now we have 13 as a value from this, we are removing b value and which is eight and then we are raising to a. So here 13 minus b which is eight and so b value becomes five. So here after this line b value will become five. And now what we are going to do is we are going, now we have b value five which is already a value. We got this b value. Now a value is 13. Now a is equal to a minus b. So now a value is 13 minus b which is five. So now after this line, you can see here, a value becomes eight. So, so these three lines, first a equal to a plus b, taking both the values and then removing b value from a. And then after it got swapped, we are removing uh, the new value from this. So this is the logic that we have to do. So a equal to a plus b, b equal to a minus b, and a equal to a minus b. So these three lines will interchange the data between the two variables without using third variable, right? So try to analyze this once you write this once again and uh, then you will understand it. Now I'm going to execute this. Let me remove this breakpoints and let me execute this and see how it works. Now, now say this. Before this, I have five and eight, and after swap, I have eight and five. So the values of the variables got swapped after executing this, this logic, right? So I hope you are clear with this. Thanks for watching the video. Do remember to subscribe for this channel for more, view, more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.